Hey, this is Tim Pierce. My friend Uwe was in town a number of weeks ago and he offered to come over and profile some of my amps into the Kemper. I said, let's do it. I still use real amplifiers all the time for my sounds. I'm lucky though, I have a vault in my garage where I can blast a 412. The Kemper is a very convenient thing and when I travel to do sessions and people want me to set up immediately and don't want me to take time to set up an amp or they don't want to put a microphone in front of a cabinet, I will take the Kemper because a lot of music is done with an emphasis on convenience these days. At home, I still use real amps 100% of the time, but out in the field, sometimes I use the Kemper now because it's a very easy and convenient way to get a sound right away. There's an enormous amount of debate over real versus not real. And I encourage you to go on YouTube and check out everybody's opinions on this. For me, I still prefer the real sounds, the real touch, particularly the real top end that comes from amps. So what you hear now is the noises. You don't have to play, but you can, but it doesn't interfect, interrupt the, the process. It cuts away the guitar and it sends signals, which the camper needs for like the physical things behind it, to check out what's happening there. It awesome. checks out the amp, like the front amp and the, the, the power amp. It checks out the cables. It checks out the cabinet. That's like the microphones. <laughs> like the whole chain. Like we're just going in with the guitar. So that means when we have the profile and when we're happy with it, you can go with every guitar to it and it would be kind of like yeah. if you were at your amp and go with a Strat or yeah. Les Paul. It's kind of like an MRI for the yeah, guitar. Exactly. <laughs> for yeah. the amp. So, should we do our profile? Yep. Yeah. Sound, they sound a little different. We, what we could do is we could hit refine mode. Okay. But then I have you to play like awkward, weird chords because what the refine mode does, it tries to make it match a little better, but therefore it needs like very weird chords. <laughs> so that helps can you, it. Can you do a very high one? Too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try to refine it. Let's refine it. Yeah, let's do it. something else right yeah a different app mm -hmm. okay <clears throat> I think we should do the diesel
that's diesel clean. Mm-hmm. That's different. Refine. Refine. Now was really good. This is the camper. Those are Marshalls. So the thing is, recording in the 80s, the way it seemed to work with every rock situation is you would get as many Marshalls as you could find. <laughs> you'd get yours, you'd get the producers, you'd maybe borrow some from somebody yeah. else, and you would just choose different Marshalls to try and get sounds. Yeah. That's the Kemper, right? Yeah. Lunchtime! Awesome.